Watch this. I'm going to tell mom bringing her a plant pot. Watch this. <clears throat> Hello, Mom. Wow. <laughs> what? What is that? Well, it's not for you. It's an antenna. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I was just texting you, Eric. Look, I wrote. Look, um, what do you think of it? What do you think of it? I think it's great. You like it? Yes. You What is that? that? No, I did not design it, but it is an antenna, and it's going on your back porch. Why? Because you need an antenna, Mom. For what? <laughs> For your ham radio. I don't want a ham radio. Eric, no. <laughs> Please. I, 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 I have a hard enough time talking on the phone. I can't talk. <laughs> I, Everybody say hi to Mom. Hi, Mom. Hello, oh. Mom. <laughs> Hello, Mom. Ham Radio Concepts. The place to come for amateur radio videos. Where do you think this should go, Mom? I'm not, I don't do ham radio. You're going to do ham radio now. You're, you're going to get it. You're going to get one. Eric, please. Well, oh, shoot. Here we go. Hold I on. I don't want to talk to men. You're going to talk to all kinds of people. Don't be silly. Look at that. I Doesn't that look good? That's, that's not an antenna. That's a plant. That's wonderful, but I'm not talking to strange men. <laughs> What's that, your spider plant? Yes. Okay, so how does that look on your balcony? Oh, stop that, Eric. What? It's a, you, can this stay here? No, we can't. Here, I tell you what. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make, I'm going to talk to someone, some strange man, as you call it, on your balcony here. And it's 100% legal because they can't say nothing about Eric. this antenna on your balcony. Are you allowed to have antennas here, Mom? I don't know. Okay, you're not allowed to because you see this? You live in an apartment, right? So people with apartments, here's, here's the moral of this video, Mom. People who live in apartments, they're not allowed to have antennas, right? So <clears throat> they have things like this, this Diamond VX30A antenna that can be designed like a plant pot here. And would you think that's an antenna? What would you say if your building inspector came by and said, excuse me, Barbara, is that an antenna on your porch? No, that's a plant that my son gave me. Exactly. It's a plant your son gave you. So we're going to check out this antenna from Diamond. Now, it does not come like this, but this is what you can do with this antenna if you're stricken by those silly HOAs where you can't have, you know, if, you're, if you live down there, right, if you live down there on that apartment, and you're like, man, I need an antenna. Or you live up here, man, I need an antenna. Look, they got a plant. They're allowed to have that plant, right? Well, they're allowed to have one of these too. A nice antenna from Diamond that you can dress up like this and make it look like an antenna and no one will say nothing. All right, so I'm on mom's balcony here with my uh, plant pot VHF UHF antenna. And I'm using my antitone again. So I'm going to give John a call. John is probably from here about 20 miles. And I'm going to give him a call on Simplex and we're going to see. And mom's got the camera there. So here we go. KF4, PFI. You're always out on frequency. I know you are. KJ4, YZI. This is what? 7 watts. Uh, KJ4, YZI. This is KF4, PFI. I got you, Eric. Uh, I'm using the omnidirectional antenna. Uh, you're a little scratchy on this end. Uh, you know, I'm not going to lie to you on that, but uh, I can read you. Over. Okay, so I'm a little scratchy. I did ask him to get on the radio. He was already uh, he was already there. But all right, stand by. I'm going to move this plant pot just a little bit out of the way and see what happens. Hold on. All right, let's go like this. Let me. I want to ask you a question uh, from your location. Your location, right? Or east? Uh, the, I am about south southeast from you, and is that any better on the position? Okay, well I'm pointed. I mean, I haven't gone to the to the Yagi yet, but I'm pointed at basically 140 degrees south southeast. Okay, would you say it's about 20 miles off this balcony with the handheld that I'm talking to you? Between 15 and 20 miles. 
So right there we ruled out the fact that if you are in a HOA, you can make something like this <coughs> to talk on the radio, okay? Ma, would you say that looks pretty good? Yes. Okay. All right, John, so you're full scale down here. Uh, can you switch to the Yagi real quick? Yes, um, I just switched over as you were transmitting. Now I'm on the Yagi. At this point in time, I don't have any signal on you whatsoever, but your audio came up exponentially. That's interesting. You don't have any signal on me. I wonder if you're not turned uh, east enough. Now you're you're sounding good on both of them, but you said I was better on the Omni. No, negative, negative. Oh, you're oh. absolutely better on the Yagi. Okay. Absolutely better on the Yagi. On, uh, on the Omnidirectional, there was a lot of hash in your signal. On this, So let me tell you what I'm on. I'm on a diamond antenna that's about three feet, no ground radials, stuck in a plant pot, wrapped with vines on my mom's balcony in an HOA on an Anytone 878. Over? Oh, very good. Very good. I didn't uh, tell him what I was on. You know my situation here. The, uh, you know, I'm hearing you from the Yagi at about 50 feet in the air. On the, uh, on the ID 5100 ICOM. Again, uh, actually your, uh, your signal has increased. I got about two chicklets, or what they would call two bars, on the, uh, on the bar graph. Well, it's safe to assume that without an HOA antenna mounted up here, I'm doing pretty good in a fake plant, uh, plant pot, over. Uh, yeah, I would say, absolutely, and then you uh, producing only the five watts of power, sure, uh, I, I can definitely agree with that assessment, go ahead. John's always good for a test, I'll leave him be. I will say that that antenna is definitely 100%, if not more, better than just using a rubber ducky on an HT. Uh, I mean, you figure, uh, I would not be able to hear you on a rubber ducky with five watts from Sebastian, at least I wouldn't think I would, but on this antenna, you're fine. You have a, uh, you know, four, uh, four bars on an ID 5100 meter. KF4 PFR. Yeah, John's pretty good at always being there for a radio check. So there's, we're going to talk about the antenna for a second, because you're probably thinking, wow, you, you showed me the plant pot and the vines and flowers what's the antenna look like we're going to talk about that right now but definitely john is way out that way john's way out that way somewhere beyond the distance of a handheld antenna and here we are on mom's balcony thanks for videoing mom <laughs> Mom, mom's a video producer <laughs> and uh we're we're talking to people off a of balcony so if you say my antenna is not good here screw it <laughs> Your neighbors don't care. So mom says she wants to see what the actual antenna looks like. This is the Diamond VX30A, okay? Two meter, 70 centimeter, dual band, high performance, vertical. And the thing about this is, again, it's not that long, okay? Anybody can hide this somewhere in a HOA. But it doesn't, I mean, this is pretty much what you get, right? And this is brand new here. Um, I'm going to take this out of the package if I can, if I can get this out of here, okay? And basically you have your tube that goes on the bottom here for mounting, okay? Now, mounting hardware, no counterpoise, no radials that come off this thing. This is it. Three feet. I mean, this is a very efficient, you can pretty much hide this in anything on the top of your house, in a palm tree. Uh, you don't have to do it the way that we showed in this video, but this is it, Mom. This is what's in that plant pot. What do you think about that? That's great. That's, that's an antenna. Um, you know, Diamond makes some good stuff, and I've always played with Diamond antennas, uh, Diamond handheld antennas. I had a V2000. I had a V510A. Some of those are gone, sold or whatever, but 
the next diamond I'm going to get is something for my 9700. I want 2 meters, 440, and 1.2 gigahertz if they have something like that. In the meantime, this is what you're getting, and again, a very small form factor for what you need to do in an HOA. Or, uh, you know, if you live on a sailboat, if you live, uh, you know, in a homeless shelter, if you live in a, a shelter for battered women, mom's laughing right now, you could put this anywhere. I mean, you could pretty much find a place to put this antenna. And uh, it's cheap, man. It's, what is it, $70 for this thing? And uh, another probably $20 for the plant pot. Uh, or, you know, $20 for the plant pot and vines total. So, mom used to make some uh, plant pots, right? You used to make some stuff with silk vines. You think you can make one of those, mom? I, 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 I she guess. could. She used to raise cockatiels. For God's sake, she could make one in a plant pot. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is the Diamond VX30A. And if you check the description in the video for this, you're going to get a uh, opportunity for a discount code because gigaparts is so cool to do that again for my viewers gigaparts said uh, we'll help out you save a couple bucks order from gigaparts.com and diamond uh i can't say anything really bad about it i mean the damn thing works with a handheld up to palm bay so seven three thanks for watching this is the vx 30a by diamond check it out plant pot and silk vines are not included this video was brought to you by my new film photographer, Mom. Everybody give Mom a big thank you for holding a camera. Mom, what do you got to say? Thank you for watching. Oh, look at that. You got it from Mom. This is the one that created me. So everybody better leave a comment. Thank you, Mom. And thank you, everybody, for watching.